Ruthless Radio here. R.I.P. Mike Casey. Coming to the location where he died. Um, in a hundred, hundred and five degree, and um, when we found him, he was blown up like um, he was blown up like uh, bloated, stomach oversized. This is this is where he was. This is where he was living. Um, Again, poor magazine, Ruthless Radio here. There is somebody in there. Look at Larry's in there! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fucking Larry's in there! What? Oh, hell no, my Oh, ears. man, my Casey, man. Where's my Casey, man? Hey, but, but this is the spot. So we got another brother in here right now, but... uh. Holy shit, I didn't even recognize the bike, man. Fucking Larry. Larry Pritchard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again. Here at uh, a little camp... Where Mike Casey had died a few days ago. Uh, he was found dead inside the little shack house that he built. Again, Ruthless Radio, Poor Magazine here. Reporter, Asla Native. I'm here in the field. The Chicano Che Guevara. Again, over here in San Leandro. Under the bridge where we found our loved one, Mike Casey, dead uh, for being ruthless, not having a place to go, and um, not having a place to go um, caused this to happen. This is a form of genocide. And again, they didn't do a they didn't do a report. They didn't they didn't. He's not in the obituary. They're trying to sweep it under the rug. And we have to shine light on this form of oppression where homelessness kills. R.I.P. Mike Casey. This is trees, though, he had all the trees on top of it. So he would never be able to the freeway. So again, you you found him. What what condition was he in when you when you found his, his whole his whole body? Was, he's normally like a really skinny man, like 120, maybe 130 pounds. His body was so blown up and so it was blue, blue with purple veins, and his belly button was bursted out like a pregnant woman. Wow. And and there were so many flies. I just I stepped away. I was scared. It was scary. Wow. Sad. And they couldn't even they couldn't even uh, identify him by wow. his picture. It was sad. Really sad. Wow. And you know Mike Casey for years, right? Yeah. Since you were younger. Correct. Really sad. Very sad case here. He um, might have been a homeless man, but he was a very genuinely good man. Man. He had skills. Man. And he could build anything with, with, with give him two sticks and a, and a stone, and he'll build something out of it. He'll make something out of it. Yeah. Very our houseless relatives, are, they're still our, they're, they're one still of us. Any one of us. It could happen man. to any one of us. Very decent man. Hard uh, worker. Look, he dug a six-foot hole. So he could have his own little, you know, air. He right. dug that. And he was a, what, 60-something-year-old man? Wow, yeah. He rode bikes every day. This is his little trailer, too. I remember. He built everything from scratch. He was a very, very uh, useful, you know, recycler. He, he would pick stuff up and make something out of it. Oh, yeah, I knew Mike Case. He was a good man. And now he's a dead man because of homelessness. The crisis here in the country that we live in free country where our relatives are dying on the streets because they don't have a safe place to rest their head a place where they can not be in the 105 degree weather heat 
a place where they can rest their neck in peace and comfort and again this is an unfortunate case r.i.p mike casey ruthless radio here to be continued